హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ దిస్ ఈస్ పవన్ కుమార్ ఐ ఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ విశాఖపట్నం ఇన్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఐ డిడ్ మై గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ ఇన్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ యూనివర్సిటీ కాల్ రాజీవ్ గేట్ ఇన్ యూజ్ వీక్ అండ్ దెన్ ఐ డిడ్ మై ఎంబీఏ ఫ్రమ్ ఐ ఎమ్ బెంగళూర్ ప్రై టు మై ఎంబీఏ ఐ డింట్ హ్యాడ్ ఎనీ వర్క్ ఎక్స్ సో డ్యూరింగ్ మై ఫైనల్ ఇయర్ డిసైడెడ్ టు పర్సూ బిజినెస్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రీమియర్ బీ స్కూల్స్ అండ్ దెన్ ఐ ఎపీడ్ ఫర్ క్యాట్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ వేర్ ఐ స్కోర్ నైన్టీ నైన్ పాయింట్ వన్ టూ పర్సెంట్ ఐల్ ఐ స్కోర్ నైన్టీ నైన్ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఐల్ ఇన్ ఎల్ఐడిఐ అండ్ జస్ట్ బిలో నైన్టీ నైన్ పర్సెంట్ ఐల్ ఇన్ క్వాంట్ అండ్ అరౌండ్ నైంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ ఐల్ ఇన్ విఏఆర్సి ఐ స్టార్ట్ మై ప్రిపరేషన్ ఇన్ మై ఫైనల్ ఇయర్ బట్ ఐ వాజ్ ఇన్ దట్ ఫోక్స్ అట్ దట్ టైమ్ డ్యూ టు మై సెమిస్టర్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ అండ్ ఫైనల్ ప్లేస్మెంట్స్ అండ్ ఐ స్కోర్ నైంటీ వన్ పర్సెంట్ ఐల్ ఇన్ దట్ అటెంప్ట్ అండ్ ఐ ఫెల్ట్ ఐ విల్ బి స్కోరింగ్ గుడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఐల్ ఇఫ్ ఐ గివ్ ఇన్ఫ్ టైమ్ టు ద ఎగ్జామ్ అండ్ ఫర్ క్యాట్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ ఐ స్టార్ట్ మై ప్రిపరేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ జూన్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ విచ్ ఇస్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ బిఫోర్ క్యాట్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ ఆఫ్టర్ క్లియరింగ్ క్యాట్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ ఐ గౌట్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ షార్ట్ లిస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ ద ఐఎమ్స్ అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ టాప్ సిక్స్ ఐఎమ్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ కన్వర్టెడ్ ఐఎమ్ బెంగళూర్ ఐఎమ్ కోజికోడ్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ ఇండోర్ అట్ ఎన్ ఎర్లీ స్టేజ్ ఆఫ్ మై ప్రిపరేషన్ ఐ కేమ్ టు నో దట్ సాల్వింగ్ హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద క్యాట్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ విత్ గుడ్ యాక్రసీ విల్ ఫెచ్ మీ ఐ గుడ్ పర్సెంటేజ్ లో గట్ ఇన్ టూ ఐఎమ్స్ సో మై ప్రిపరేషన్ స్టార్ట్ ఈస్ వెరీ సింపుల్ ఇట్స్ టు మాక్సిమైజ్ ద స్కోర్ అరౌండ్ సెక్షన్స్ విచ్ ఐఎమ్ వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్ అండ్ ప్లేస్ ఎఫ్ అరౌండ్ ద సెక్షన్స్ విచ్ ఐఎమ్ రిలేటివ్లీ వీక్ అండ్ క్లియర్ ద కట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ ద మంత్స్ ఆఫ్ జూన్ అండ్ జూలై మై ఫోకస్ ఈస్ టు లెర్న్ ఆల్ ద బేసిక్స్ అండ్ దెన్ ప్రాక్టీస్ మోర్ so my day starts with reading some articles and then i do practice and learn concepts uh, of lrda and quant so this happened for two months and from august uh, i used to give sectional mocks every day and on weekends i used to give full length mocks and from september mid i used to give uh, two or three full length mock every week so this is how i paced my preparation and at every point of my preparation i used to give equal time to all the three sections out of the three sections uh, i found solving vrc question stuff Uh, as i'm not into reading much from my childhood uh, i took long time to uh, read the passages and my accuracy also not good uh, which led to low scores in my mock test to overcome my weakness uh, i used to read a lot uh, i read from diverse sources and i read uh, articles which are lengthier than cat uh, original passages and it really helped me in adapting to the exam for comprehension uh, me my friends and my mentors we used to take a passage and we used to solve it together and at the end of the session we used to get five to six perspectives of how to uh, approach a question how to eliminate options and it's very insightful and it really helped me in solving the comprehension questions mocks are very very important part of my journey uh, solving a question uh, in a normal setup and in a mock setup where there are time constraints it's completely different and mocks can really help you build important skills like time management uh, dealing with pressure and selecting and uh, leaving questions mocks can also give useful insights about your performance for example i use it to analyze how much time that i have spent on questions that i got incorrect versus the time i have spent on the questions which i got right so i used to spend 70% of the time on the questions which i got incorrect or left and 30% of the time on the questions which i got right this kind of uh, insights really helped me uh, prioritize and reprioritize questions and get a balance mocks are very very important part of my journey i gave her 50 to 60 mocks for cat 2019 and i think the game changer for me between my first and second attempts is the number of mocks that i have given my lrda preparation can be divided into three phases as a beginner my primary goal is to acquainted with different kind of sets so i started with the lrda books which have been market and it really helped me get the terminology and build a framework to solve different kind of sets uh, in the second phase i practiced a lot i practiced from sectional mocks and mock sessions of different platforms so in every mock i used to identify the basic sets and solve them without any time constraint and the remaining sets i used to understand how to solve them through provided solution i made sure i noted down the data of sets which are worth solving again and then i do come back and solve them again and again until i feel uh, that i don't need to visit them anymore this process helped me build a sort of muscle memory and get a an intuitive uh, grasp of processes involved in solving the sets in the third phase uh, i used to give lrda mocks with time constraints so after every exam i used to do the same paper with any time constraints and then i compare and analyze the scores and find out the reasons why i have scored less marks in the time constraint mocks this practice helped me master skills like uh, controlling my emotions and proper allocation of time for each set and eventually helped me maximize my score in the section one pro tip uh, before solving any lrda paper just go through all the sets and note down the difficulty level of each set after completing this process now solve the paper and then compare it with the difficulty level of each set that you have given earlier 
This practice can help you analyze the traps which are set in language which can deceive you. For VARC, uh, I don't think there is another shortcut. So reading is a must uh, and I used to read very long articles from different genres. Uh, and a platform called Aeon daily helped me due to my preparation. Uh, I didn't focus on VM much as my accuracy is very bad and uh, in the exam uh, I used it to solve reading compression questions first and then odd one out and then uh, parajumbles based on the accuracy that I have. Uh, coming to reading comprehension, there are three different kind of questions. Uh, so one thing is detail based questions which generally ask about details in the passage. Second thing is summary and main point uh, kind of questions. And third thing is in inference based questions. So uh, I feel uh, solving detail based questions are very easy and straightforward. So I used to pick uh, passages which has a lot of detail based questions. This really helped me play safe with the VRC section and uh, score decent percentage. For quant, my preparation strategy is very simple. Uh, learn concepts very clearly and then practice more. Uh, I used to focus more on arithmetic, uh, algebra and geometry which covers around 70% of the paper. Uh, in exam, I used to categorize the questions into L1, L2 and L3 based on the difficulty level and I first focus on solving L1 and L2 and solving uh, L1 and L2 alone will give you around 19 percentile. Uh, three things which really help in preparation are uh, my mentors, uh, group preparation with my friends and the mock tests. Coming from a tie to tie 3 engineering college, uh, my experience at IM Bangalore is completely new and different. Uh, here I got to interact with the best minds of the country and uh, taught by excellent professors. The academic rigor at IM Bangalore uh, with all the classes, group projects, assignments and case competitions uh, really improve your time management skills and uh, how to prioritize tasks. And the case-based pedagogy really helps you understand complex uh, business problems and the classroom discussion really helps you get different perspectives. So I got these skills from IM Bangalore which are very uh, important in order to thrive in a corporate world. Don't get scared about the exam. Be consistent with your practice and give as many mocks as possible. Let's crack it. <laughs>